All right, so um, I'll post this to YouTube later, reshare it, whatever. Uh, you know, me, you know, when I got up yesterday morning, um, I really had the um, the Lord, really, and listen, man, I, I don't say this lightly. I really had the Lord press on my heart to talk about the hypocrisy of the American church concerning its mixing with paganism and the upcoming uh, uh, pagan holiday, the, the the witching day, and how that uh, this compromise has led to something. And this morning, you know, I'm I'm doing all this research concerning um, uh, the drastic increase in self harm for Gen Z uh, people born. Uh, I forget what year, Gen Z, and, and then the new generation coming up. Uh, the overwhelming um, uh, uh, increase that we've seen in cutting, uh, uh, in suicide, uh, suicide attempts, hopelessness, uh, violence in our schools, violence on the streets. And, and I'm looking at all this, and, and it runs parallel, uh, exactly parallel with the American church becoming silent concerning what actual spiritual warfare is. Man, it's real. Uh, we are called by God. Listen, and I'm not going to apologize. Some of y'all, the comments that I received is, you know, uh, you're judging others. Man, man, I'm not judging you. I am not judging. Who am I to judge anyone? Get a book. I'm not judging you. But I am called to proclaim the truth of God's word. And the word of God says, What fellowship does light have with darkness? Does the Holy Spirit have with the spirit of the Antichrist? What? Uh, we are called to expose the works of darkness. We're called to abstain and expose. So as we see this in, in, indoctrination of our children with pagan ideologies, one guy was like, well, they taught us about Greek gods in school, so you're telling me they're teaching us about Satanism? Yes, yes, yes. There's one way to reconcile with God. Any other proclamation that you can rec reconcile with God any other way is, is demonic. It's paganism. You, Hindu is satanic. Islam is satanic. The Roman Catholic doctrine is satanic. Period. Period. So what am I to do? I'm a gospel preacher. Look, we, we've lost the idea of repenting, right? We've lost. If somebody don't tell you what sin is, and listen, mixing with paganism is sin. It is corruption. It, it is uh, the, the work of darkness. So we have to, as a preacher, I have to call it out. Why? Because we have a Gen Z church, man. And, and I get these 11 and 12 year olds and I've seen an 8 year old uh, get a demon cast out of it. And I get these young folks and parents bringing their kids to us because they're, they're suicidal. Uh, they're cutting themselves. And how did all of that happen? How did they get to that point? Compromise. Slow, methodical compromise that happened back in the 1800s when Darwin come up with a satanic idea of evolution. You did not evolve from a monkey. You are divinely created on purpose, for a purpose, created in the actual image and the likeness of God. Anything that says otherwise is a lie and at the very root of all lies is the father of lies himself. So we are called to come out from amongst them. Listen, I'm going to be in the world. I'm going to proclaim the gospel, but I'm not going to live like the world. I'm not going to do it. And so, man, you get all these crazy comments about me calling Christians who mix paganism with Christianity uh, uh, a hypocrite. And that's, I'm sorry, that's what you are. You know, a, a person that struggles with their sin is only a hypocrite when they deny that what they're doing is sinning. 
Look, when, when I mess up, you'll hear, hear me behind the pulpit confess my sins because I don't want that root of bitterness to grow. So at Short Creek, we create an environment where it's okay not to be okay, where people can get up behind the pulpit and say, I'm struggling with homosexuality. I'm, I, I'm struggling with greed. I'm struggling with unforgiveness. I'm struggling with anger. I'm struggling with addiction. I'm struggling. Please, somebody come around me, lay hands on me, and help me get up over this. But I'm, I see these 11, 12... Your old little girls, these boys with these fifteen-year-old boys with this rage and anger, and 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 how how did they get here? Well, you look. Listen, I'm a numbers guy. I'm a finance guy. You look at the progression of how we got here. Is compromise in the pulpit? It's a bunch of sissy, skinny jean wearing woke preachers that are afraid to call sin what it is. And I'm not questioning your salvation. I'm just telling you. Jesus is looking at you today and saying, hey, do you want to be made whole? Do you want to live in the abundance of peace and contentment that I promised you? Repent! What did he do when he met the man at the pool? He met him later on and he said, go thy way and sin no more, lest something worse come upon you. What's worse than being paralyzed for 38 years? Listen, let me tell you what's worse than being being paralyzed in your mind. <laughs> See, Jesus had to address the mind issue first. So I'm trying to address the mind issue. The idea that it is okay to dress your child up like a witch, like a vampire, like a demon, like a false god like Thor or Loki or one of these false gods that Marvel Comics seems to, to hold in high regards. So I'm trying to address that in your idea that the American church has refused to, to address. So, man, if I triggered you, hallelujah, man. man hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, I, when, when this stuff broke out in, in 2023, we said we're not honoring, acknowledging Halloween anymore. We're going to Acts 19, get together on that day and burn witchcraft items, occultic items, any and everything that's got to do with the occult. We're going to burn it because that's what Acts 19 says. Because I don't want to be a culturally relevant church. I want to be a biblical church. Period. Biblical church. So if you need a pastor to stroke your ego and tell you you're okay for dressing your kid up like a witch, a warlock, a wizard, if, if you need that, then go on. Go there. And when you find your child uh, wearing hoodies and long sleeves and, and not wearing shorts anymore, and then one day you see that they have begun to cut and slice themselves open, you'll understand that you invited demons into that child's life. Man, that is the truth. So we're going to stand we're going to stand on this. I stand on Jesus is the only way to reconcile with God. I preach the gospel message, the good news of reconciliation. But there is no reconciliation with God until you let go of the things of the world. And I know sometimes it's progressive. I know sometimes you do things out of ignorance. I've done things out of ignorance. I've cast demons out of people that thought Christian witchcraft was okay because nobody addressed the garbage that's going on in this world because you're afraid of, of being persecuted on you ain't being how can you be persecuted on Facebook you're too freaking sensitive you sissy I mean come on somebody come on it's time to get real and these kids the suicide rate for Gen Z is is at an alarming rate the, the cutting, the self-harm is at an alarming rate. Why? 
because America has a pulpit problem, because we have called good evil and evil good. Woe unto uh, the American church today. That's the reason all these preachers are being exposed for their sexual sin, because they have refused to repent themselves. And I don't, I, yeah, I, I started to say, I, I do mean to get fired up. Man, I, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. It's time for pastors to grow a pair and stand against darkness. Look, if if you want to take your dress your kid up like Moses and take him to a fall festival, hallelujah. I, some people have an issue with that. I don't have an issue with that. But dressing your kid up like a witch, letting them watch all this garbage... I ain't tell you the number of, of young women that have got involved. I'm talking about 10, 11, and 12 years old that have gotten involved with this witch talk thing. And then they just start slicing themselves open. Read First Kings when, when, when the prophets of Baal. Read the demoniac how he began to cut himself in the tomb. That is demonic. It's not a psychological problem. It's a spiritual problem that needs to be addressed. Look, I just want to, I'm, I'm called to preach a gospel of freedom. But if I preach half the gospel, who am I? Who am I if I preach half the gospel? Witchcraft is not okay. Pokemon is not okay. Magic the Gathering is not okay. Yu-Gi-Oh is not okay. You letting your kids watch uh, little cartoons about witches is not okay. You letting your kids watch cartoons about uh, wizards and warlocks is not okay. It is not okay. Period. Bottom line. It is not okay. They, they, they asked me, said, Ron, how do you get that little old church so full out there in the middle of nowhere? We cast demons out of them. We lay hands on the sick and they recover. We stand. Listen, I, I am not going to do anything to compromise the glory of God at Short Creek. So we said, hey, listen, we got to protect the manifest presence of God at Short Creek. So we ended everything to do with paganism. We, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus all the time. But we don't have the Easter Bunny. Study Ishtar and where the Easter Bunny comes from. We don't have Santa Claus at the church or Christmas trees. Why? Because there's pagan roots to it. If, if you want to have that at your house, you pastor your house. I pastor Short Creek Church and the elders stand with me on this. They stand with me on this because they've been in the altars. They've seen the 12-year-old girls manifest demons because they played. They binge watch witch talk, learning how to cast spells to try to make some little boy fall in love with them. You just got on these blinders like it's not happening. Hey, it's happening. It is happening. It's real. It's time that we stop treating spiritual issues naturally. It's time that we address the spiritual issue. Demons are real. They're afflicting our kids. Why do we have demons just people come in the short creek and manifest? Because we protect and honor the glory of God. Because we're, we're not going to compromise. The compromise isn't in me anymore. I live my life justifying my sin and compromise. It led me to federal prison. When I went to federal prison, I said, Lord, I'm going to do it your way. I don't care who it makes mad. So from all of the comments, look, I love you. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. I'm trying to tell you this stuff matters. When you allow this stuff in your children's life, this is a night about the kids, right? I don't celebrate ha Halloween for the same reason witches don't celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to acknowledge it. 
I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to, to patty cake. I'm not going to try to make you feel good about mixing paganism with Christianity. That, that does not work. It taints it. It's no longer Christianity. Look at the children of Israel. And the, and look at them. The whole time they're mixing, mixing, mixing. We're committing the same sins. We want Jesus as our Savior, but not our Lord and King. We want to be part of the kingdom, but not be kingdom citizens. We want to pledge allegiance to this world and to its ideologies and to the paganism in it and think somehow that we're going to be entitled to the benefits of the kingdom of God. Come on, man. Have you lost your stinking mind? It don't work. You say I'm being mean. Hallelujah. I'm, the kingdom of God suffers violence. Got, got teenagers sitting in church. And pastors afraid to call, call it out. And at the same time, that teenager's struggling with taking their life. And, and you're, you're scared. Scared, scared. You're just too many scared, sissified preachers behind the pulpits that won't take a stand. Grow a pair of balls in Jesus' name. Yeah, that's what I said. I know, that triggered another, that triggered the other side of you self-righteous religious folks. I, 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 when I'm struggling, I need somebody to talk to me hard. Somebody needs to talk to you preachers hard. It's not the people's fault, it's the preacher's fault. It's the preacher's fault. You're, you're, you're aligning yourself with the paganism by not calling it out. Period. 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 You're being complicit by being silent. You're being complicit with homosexuality and the LBGTQ by being silent. You're being complicit against the murdering and the abortion of the unborn children by being silent. You're being complicit about sexual immorality by being silent. You're being complicit. I'm not saying, listen, if you hear me preach, you know I preach the love of God, the grace of God, the mercy of God, because I am proof of the love, the grace, and the mercy of God. I should have been dead a million times, but when I look at that Bible, the Bible tells me to be holy as He is holy, that it is holiness, that the ones that obey the Lord, the ones that adhere to His commandments, the ones that follow Him, it is His disciples disciples that go to heaven. Anyway, we get into a lot more stats. I love y'all. Um, daily deliverance. Why we don't, why we don't daily deliverance teaching. Why we don't mix paganism uh, uh, and acknowledge any pagan ideologies at Shore Creek. That's why. That's why. Because I've cast demons out of kids whose parents were complicit and, and didn't raise them in the fear of the Lord. That didn't that, that allowed evil in their home 